Robert the Iron Vapor here with a review of a mod. What mod could that be? It's going to be the Loki from Nexi. At least I think is how you pronounce it. So let me uh, turn on the top cam and let me start uh, showing you some of this. All right. Here's the box that it comes in right here. Let's open this up. And there's, there it is. Yes. A carbon fiber over brass mod. So I took that out. What, what else is in here? Okay, underneath, pull that out. They give you this, what appears to be a carbon fiber pouch. Indeed, it feels like carbon fiber. Wow. Oh, look at this. <laughs> so there you go. You could clip this, take your Loki and your Addy, stick it in there, cinch it up so it's not going to get lost. Nice little thing to have. And got a little pouch over here. Nice. Very nice indeed. Let's get the Loki back out. All right. So. You probably might be saying to yourself, Robert, that's a clone of the Paragon. Well, true, it's a carbon fiber wrap tube. Um, and that's about the only thing it really has in common with the Paragon. The switch and the top cap have probably more in common with, let's say, a Stingray than certainly the Paragon. Because you can see the way the top cap is. Here, let me get this out of the way. Let's do some close-up work here. Let's get this zoomed in. You can see where the top cap, even though it has a slightly different design, same airflow channel design that you'd see on the Stingray, right? And the bottom cap, same kind of airflow design, same type of switch mechanism that the Stingray has. Of course, it has a, a locking ring. Um, the major difference, I guess, between the Stingray switches and top cap is you don't have that, you know, other metal sleeve. It's typically stainless steel, at least on mine, stainless steel wrap on top of the, the switch and the top cap. But let's take the top cap off. Let's take the bottom switch off. La. There we go. So you get a brass tube. Threading is great, by the way. Threading is really, really good. Um, I'll even take off the locking ring. No crunchiness, no binding. It just so you got a brass tube with a carbon fiber tube. I guess I, I, I'm not a carbon fiber expert. I don't know shit about carbon fiber. All right, this looks like carbon fiber to me. All right, let me read the description of what uh, the website says about it. So, okay. Okay. Description. The carbon mod is made of carbon fiber for the body with brass, copper, and bushings finishing. <laughs> it doesn't get hot and to, uh, and to be most conductive. All right. Interesting wording. Floating pin design in both sides. It can accommodate all kinds of 510 threaded atomizers, 18650 battery in the market. Enables the atomizer and battery contact with the battery cap tightly without any visible gaps. No need to adjust the, con um, the contacting manually. Okay, and we'll get to that. Um, magnetic button, so it is a magnetic switch. Small boss on the button ensures good contacting with battery pull. No direction limitation for the battery, which means you can put your battery any which way you want in here, and it, it'll work just fine. Okay, so advantage of the carbon mod brass tube covered with external carbon tube. Modern and lordness, lordiness, lordiness design. Uh, two kind of pattern choice, 3K twill weave pattern and matte and a 3k plain weave and glossy uh, 18650 of course floating pin for the 510 
uh, magnetic button, venting holes. Yes, the venting does work. Uh, and easy locking mechanism. So it's a 22 millimeter, um, 22 and a half millimeter by 94 millimeter device. 265 grams net weight. Okay, so there's your tube, right? There's your tube. Let's start with the the firing button, right? So it's got this little NC logo on it. Let me turn it that way. NC, which I guess is the abbreviation they use for uh, Nexi. And like I said, I really don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Designed by N.C. So it's a magnetic switch. It looks very similar in design to the Stingray. Uh, uh, let me take it apart for you. So I'm going to remove this Delrin. I'm unscrewing the Delrin. I'm not touching the brass center pin. All right. And there's, there are your magnets right there. Let me take that one. Those two, put those right there. Now, even though this looks like um, this might be a screw within a screw, it really is not. Let me get something to point with. This is just raised ever so slightly, maybe a millimeter above. You can see how it's, it's slightly raised, but these are not two separate devices. This is all one device. You can unscrew it out from the Delrin. Here's the inside of the button itself. I can unscrew this. Let me get a good hold on it. Okay. And that comes off and you can see it's the rice pen design. So you have no spinning of your button whatsoever. The rice pen appears to be copper. Let me take a look at that. Here's the rice pen. Whoa, there we go. It, you know, it, it appears to be copper to me as far as because of its color. But let's uh, re reassemble this. Hopefully I can get the rice pin in there without too much difficulty. Come on, baby. Rice pins, and this is a short little rice pin short just grab that stick it on top of tweezers no let me see if I can still finagle it I'm gonna pull this up a little bit to make it easier for me to work on and then hopefully I can get this in here yeah I know I'm covering everything up ah, there we go Come on, come on. Rice pens can be a pain in the tuchus. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's get in there. There we go, now it's in there. Let's take the center portion, screw that back on. Tighten that up. Let's take our magnets. Let's make sure they're opposing. That's opposing, so I want that there. I want this one flipped over. And then just take your time, because you don't want to cross-thread your Delrin. Right? Make sure you're not cross-threading, because you got the opposing force working against you. Just catch it nice and easy. Screw that back in until it stops. And there, there's our firing pin. Okay. Now... You can see that this center pin, it is spring-loaded. This is, so the entire center pin mechanism is spring-loaded. Let me take it apart. So I'm taking this apart for you. All right, there we go. Look at that, a copper spring in here. What appears to be copper. There's our contact. Here's the uh, center pin that goes all the way up through here. And you got a Delrin insulator here. So basically, that's all there really is to it. 
Let's reassemble this. Get that in there nice because that's just going to protrude out the bottom there. Let's put the spring in here. Let's just reassemble this. Come on, come on. Here we go. And again, because you got this dowel run, be careful. You don't want to cross thread it. I just snug it up. Alrighty, so that's really all there is to um, this mod. Let's work from here. Let's. Oh, where's my? Here's my um, my serial numbered serial numbered. Uh, I guess it's one oh seven five. It's reverse threaded, so. I'm just putting that on all the way. Let me put on my. Oh. <laughs> Am I doing this wrong? Come on. There we go. Come on. Oh, well, it doesn't help if you're trying to screw on the top cap. All right, there's the switch. All right, screw the switch in a little bit. Let's throw a battery in here. Let's put our top cap on. Let's screw up the switch to make contact with the battery. No rattle, right? So let's take an Addy. So this is my Origin uh, Dripper version one. All right, just screw it on. There you go. Now, every Audi I put on here has worked. Doesn't matter what it, what I put on here. Doesn't matter. I don't have to do any adjustments. Let me take, um, what's this? Let me grab my magma. Here's my magma. Stick it on here flush right there's a magma on there let's take uh, let's get a plume veil right take the plume veil flush okay so really virtually any addy any tank you want to put on here not a problem unless unless here's the new tugboat virgin <laughs> tugboat virgin 2 this is authentic okay let me screw that down that's where it bottoms out see the gap right does it work sure ah you want to get a flush this is what you do unscrew you know the adjustment on your switch a bit you can take uh, your addy off or not makes no difference take your top cap off all right the tugboat has a very long 510, one of your longer 510 connections. All right. Screw this on, your top cap. Okay, now okay, now it's snugged up. It feels that's as far as it's gonna go. No. If you keep screwing, it will start pushing everything down. All right. Full contact. You have no this this usually spring-loaded that's all bottomed out tugboats nice and um, flush screw it back on the mod screw up your switch there you go whoa 
Let's take the tugboat off. Let's put something else back on. Let me take this. I'm kind of surprised that worked. Let's try uh, the plume veil. Plume veil is working as well. But if you find yourself that you, one of your addies is just a little bit shy, a little bit short after using a very long 510 posted addy, take your top cap off, find a hard surface, put that against a hard surface and push down. You hear that click on the mic? Now it's all the way up. You got adjust you got the 510 connection in here that is still let me see if I can show you saw it before right you saw it before right that's still spring loaded this piece is spring loaded as well screw that back on in fact make sure that's loose and screw this all the way back on screw this up nice take your addy and you're good to go, right? I've been using this now for a couple of weeks. Hasn't been giving me any problem whatsoever. The switch is nice and smooth, no crunchiness. Hit it here, hit it in the middle, works great every time. It's just, you know, if carbon fiber, if you're looking for a carbon fiber mod, <clears throat> pardon me, a carbon fiber mod, this just works very well. It does work very well. Yeah. So I think there's enough of a difference because of the top cap and the bottom cap and this is reverse straight. Well, I'm turning it right to the right to lock it, you know, counterclockwise to unlock it. Not a lot of turns to do it. Works very well. Works really well. I can, um, I can recommend this. I really can. Carbon fiber look or carbon fiber is your thing. This might be a good choice for you. I'll put the link to the uh, Nexi website down below in the description. There you go. Robert the Arm Vapor 